Hey guys, Luster, and welcome to the semi-final episode of Minecraft or Spawn Season 3 here on the channel. Now, yeah, I know, I know, you're probably like, but Austin, you said if we hit the like goal, we would do, we would do uh, an episode before this, this episode's coming. Well, we did not hit the like goal. As of right now, I literally just checked before recording this, there's only 15 likes on that video, and I asked for 17. So, uh, we didn't hit the like goal. And just to give you guys an example, that video is almost at 70 views, so a good percentage of the people didn't like the video. So unfortunately, this is the semi-final episode and the final boss episode. Today we are fighting the Queen, everyone, and as you know, the Queen is the hardest boss in Orspawn, or you may not know that, but yeah. Hardest boss in Orspawn, way harder than the King, and I will shortly explain why that is the case. Um, but before I do that, I would like to ask you, since this is the last time I am fighting a boss in Orspawn, Guys, smash that like button. Let's see if we can get 17 likes on this video. If we can pull that off, I'd greatly appreciate it and whatnot. Um, I can't guarantee any more episodes because the fi the finale is on Friday now. So um, this video should be going out as a premiere, I would imagine. So hello to everyone in the chat. Just keep in mind, premiere does not mean live stream, so I can't probably interact with the chat. I might be in interacting with chat, I have no idea what I'm doing later today, but um, just so you all are aware, this is a premiere, not a live stream. That being said, um, my armor isn't enchanted, but it shouldn't make that much of a difference. Um, I do have, I will have the anvil pen on me for this, so if it does need to repair my armor, it will be doing that. Um, we got the Royal Guardian Sword, I don't need the ultimate bow, I'm going to probably put that away um, for this fight, it's not going to make a difference. Um, one idea, though, is, uh, I actually got this from Piero, is using the Wither Pet. I need Soul Sand for fuel, though, which I actually do have a good bit of. So, I think, for preparation, we're gonna use the, we're gonna use the Wither Pet, which does 25% life steal, which is actually really good. Um, another thing I might do is the Moon Pet, which, which temporarily gives mobs disable gravity, but I don't think that's good, I don't know if that's gonna affect the Queen as much, we'll still give her a try. Um, what do you need? Gas tears? Do I even? Um, the answer is no to that. So never mind. We can't use the moon pet. It's gonna not be able. To, I won't. I'll only get the ability off like once, which won't matter. Um, what is what is this? Uh, health regeneration? Not gonna probably matter. Um, like I said, guys, this is with group resistance. Nah, uh, immune to damage for one minute. I can try. Um, but yeah, we're going all in with the pets today because I'm going to hit the Illuminati pet one more time and then put him away because he's not required for this. But yeah, it's going to get intense, guys. I'm I'm hoping that I'll be able to pull through on this last Illuminati pet jukebox. Isn't that so nice of you to give me? Not going to help much. Okay, um, put you away, get you out. So first things first, these three pets. I don't need... A shovel. I'm going to actually keep the feed bag in my inventory to keep track of that. Um, I don't need pickaxe, axe, or anything. I don't need the bow. Um, uh, so, put you two here. So, I need... Well, actually, I don't need the Illuminati pet. So, I'm going to need my soul, the soul sand. So, let me just grab that right now. Put that in the feed bag. Um, and I'm going to need... What do I need? Oh, obsidian nuggets. Uh, I only have three, but I'm pretty sure I can transform these into it. Yeah, I can. Okay, so what don't I need right now? Fish, we're not using that guy. And Ambo Pet, we're going to need. Uh, the Apple Pez, the Apple, this boy's going to be the problem slime pet. I'm almost tempted to get rid of him. Because, uh, one, I don't have nearly enough fuel, and it does glitch if I end up using him. So I think I'm going to drop slime pet for this. And you're probably thinking, Austin, you fool, why would you do this? This is blasphemy. Um, trust me guys, this probably is actually a better call because now it doesn't have a chance of glitching on me in the middle of the fight. As you saw with the Mobzilla fight, it does have a chance of doing that. Um, uh, what other pets? What other pets? Because pets are the most important meal of the day. Um, what are you? Spam toss, pile driver, no. Teleport under certain danger. That might work. But I think it's gonna be way too fast, and that might mess me up. Um, immune to explosions, I could try doing. Wait, what does he take? Gunpowder. I don't think I have nearly enough gunpowder to sustain that. I have 18. I'm gonna try him. 
Because the only reason why I'm saying that here, I don't think I'm actually going to need that many for this. But the only reason why I'm saying that is, uh, the I don't know which blast from the queen would count. And immune to explosions might actually protect me from the purple powers. I'm not entirely sure about that. So the queen, the whole reason I'm doing this is so the queen has an ability that called purple power. And it shoots out these purple orbs. And if they touch you, they do 80% of your health. Regardless of what army you have on, they do 80%. So... I will lose eight of my hearts instantly. And then if a second one touches me, I, I die. That's it. Um, the goal is to prevent that from happening. Um, I'm going to just put the slime pen and luminary pen here just in case I do lose everything. They will be saved. Um, what is this? Duke Fireball uh, restores inventory after death. I'm going to try this as well just because I'm not entirely sure if this will work. But in the off chance it does, I've got enough bones for it. Um... I don't think I'm going to die over 21 extra cloud pet and stuff. So I think my inventory is good. So I have the ability to be immune for one damage and weakens enemies on attack. Uh, cloud pet for flight. Anvil pet for repairing armor over the course of the battle. Wither pet for siphons. So every time I hit them, I will gain health back. Immune to explosions, hopefully, and hopefully restore inventory on death. The reason why I say hopefully is because... Or spawn is not designed to handle this. I should say these pets aren't designed to handle or spawn. Or spawn's designed to like destroy you. Oh right, I forgot about these. Um, I accidentally just destroyed a painting. Um, but you guys know what I mean. Like, there is a 100% chance that I will die from this. I'm actually gonna put this away now because I have the feedback. I'm gonna have to use these torches this entire time. So let's grab our queen spawn egg, which I should have one of. Yep, spawn the queen. Um, and no, the Prince or Princess will not help in this fight, so I have to not do that. I need to go to the Red Ant Dimension, so I actually need a, uh, a Red Ant Spawn Egg. Red Ant, Red Ant. Alright. Let's grab this and head out. Um, just so you guys know, it has been, like, six to eight months, maybe longer since I fought the Queen last. Uh, there's a complete chance I will die and lose everything hope that doesn't happen because there's a glitch in one of the versions of war spawn it might be the one i have installed that if the queen kills you with its purple powers not its fireballs but if its purple powers kill you your inventory deletes i can't like if i die my inventory won't drop on the ground it will just delete um and i will have no way of getting it back um and before anyone says well if that happens just go in creative mode and give you your and give your stuff back. Um, don't worry about that, guys. Trust me. Um, it's it's really not that big of a deal. Uh, and, and in regards to being not big of a deal, it's like this is the final episode. So if I lose everything, then that just proves I wasn't ready for this. Um, again, this is going to be a time fight. Every time the queen gets to a certain milestone of health, he will spawn in or she will spawn in the purple powers. And then I have to essentially run for my life. Drop, I have to essentially drop to the... Here's what I have to do. So let's see. I see the purple powers. I have to do this, drop, and do this. And this will protect me. Um, and then I move on with the fight. If I don't do that correctly, it will most likely spell my death. But we're in the Mobzilla area. Mobzilla was fought here. So let's spawn her in. And remember, guys, if you haven't done so already, click that like button for this amazing queen fight. All right, there she is. All right, so she starts out at 6,000 health. And is doesn't get angry at me. Oh, she's already putting flowers down. Um, she won't get angry until I hit her once. So here goes nothing. All right, battle commence. I'm actually gonna lower my volume for this. Yee, lower my volume. Lower my volume. Lower my volume. That's way too loud. And actually, I should probably lower the volume for you guys too. There we go. Seventeen is a good number. All right. Oh, she's already done her purple powers once I see them over there. Um, essentially, if you see a floating orb of purpleness, run for your life. She shouldn't be doing it already, because it's supposed to be... Oh, I already took some damage. I already took some damage, as you guys see. Um, but yeah, the only time she should do that ability is if she takes a large sum of health. Um, for damage. Oh, wait. Should right click that? Be immune to things? Oh, there it is. There it is. Yep. And I'm dead. Just like that. And I did lose my inventory, so so much for the, uh... So much for the, uh, whatchamacallit pet. Alright, she should calm down. I should be able to... Well, actually, you'll see. I'll immediately die. Watch. See those things? Yeah. Instant death. 
Um, respawn. Yep, instant death again. And I think I think the glitch happened. I think I have to wait for them all to finish. I'm just doing this just to explain to you guys how hopeless it would be. Um, all right, there's another one, and one more should that be it? Come on, kill me one more time. Do it. You won't. Yeah. So, um, I think the worst did happen. So she's calm now. She won't do anything. Um, Mothra's gonna kill me. That way. Yeah, Mothra's gonna kill me. Uh, the worst did happen. My inventory did, in fact, delete. Um, so that's it. There's nothing I can do now. Uh, I have to go back home. Um, all right. Send me back. So, just to give you an idea of what happened, um, I'll explain this one more time just so you guys understand because I already can smell the comment section um, this isn't going out as a premiere video. That happened way too fast. But just to give you guys an idea of what exactly just happened to me. Is, uh, here, wait, where's my, I guess I have to wear a Royal Guardian now. Um, what happened was I, I got hit. I tried dropping to the ground to place the torches. A second one hit me. Like that, I died. Okay? So what should have happened, theoretically, is the, um, here I need to make, I need to make a new set of boots. What should have happened, theoretically, is the, whatchamacallit, the, uh, the, why can't I think of what it's called? The grave pet that I have should have activated. This boy right here, I think I have another one, yeah, this, the grave pet should have activated, restores inventory upon death. Um, it did not. The reason why it did not activate is because ore spawns attacks are so lightning fast in in like wise of like minecraft that the other mod couldn't even pick up that i took damage um the 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 siphon was activating but again when those pearl powers hit you it's instant you can't defend against it. it's not like you took damage from a skeleton you're like oh i turned to cover no that thing touches you it's it it's over it's done um i couldn't land time to put the pearl power the the uh creeper pound down so it just immediately wiped me um, it's not supposed to wipe your inventory. That is a glitch in or spawn. And like I said, only it's similar to how like it lags in certain dimensions, only certain versions of or spawn have that. Unfortunately, the final or spawn version that released has that glitch. Um, it's unfortunate. It really is. Uh, there's absolutely nothing I can do now. I literally, that is also why I didn't want to lose my Luminati pet because that's it um i lost my cloud pet i still have a slime pet i lost my cloud pet um that's really it um i will make the feedback though again feedback uh how do i i need leather diamond string do i even have a piece of string anymore i can't make the feedback can i yeah i have no string all right well i guess we're just carrying emeralds on us then um but yeah you guys know what i mean like it, it's actually I'm not going to say the fight's impossible, but with that glitch, makes it dang near impossible. Um, again, no amounts of pets or anything would defend against that. No, like, assistants, like girlfriends, boyfriends, they would all pop just like I did. They don't even fight that guy anyway. Um, and again, just to, just to reiterate, it is not, um, my fault or Minecraft's fault for that happening, that is a glitch in or spawn for that to happen. It doesn't matter. Like, I know you guys have probably seen gameplay of people fighting the queen without that glitch happening. Um, it is not a glitch for me to instantly die. That is not the glitch. The glitch is my inventory actually deleting. That's the glitch. Um, again, there's nothing. Oh, I lost my backpacks too. Rip. There's nothing I can do about that. Um, again, that's a thing on or spawn's end. And since the mod doesn't update anymore... Your only hope of not having that glitch happen in you is just having a version of Orspawn where the glitch doesn't exist. And again, since Orspawn doesn't update anymore, <laughs> it's really you only have like whatever version you have or had, and then that's really all you got. Um, I apologize for that being the way that fight went. I know you guys are probably were looking forward to it, but um, that's pretty much how that fight went. Um, one thing I do need is the nuggets, iron nuggets, iron, iron. Iron. I really don't have any iron units. Uh, 
but you, but you got you guys can understand that there's nothing in my power that I can do to fix that um the only thing I can do is warn anyone else playing on the server not to fight the queen um there's only one other person still playing on the server anyway but uh it, it's just that'll happen they will try but that pretty much is what'll happen um it saddens me that that's how that fight went I know in I think season two of War Spawn, which I did last year, uh, that did not happen. I think I was able to defeat. Oh, thanks for the sticks. Uh, I think I was able to defeat him without that glitch occurring. But I also think I was able to get him before that even happened. As you guys saw, I got him down about a thousand health, and then it just there was nothing I could do. It really wasn't. It's it's so unfortunate. Losing the Pet too is a huge loss. But again, it's the final episode, so it's not too much of a big deal. Um, but yeah, that's really all I can say for this episode. I can't really, I can't really um, do anything else. Really, I, I mean, I can harvest the titanium and uranium just for the fun of it. But let's just do that. Let's just let's harvest our duplicator trees just to make ourselves feel better about ourselves. Okay. Um, we've had these torches producing for a while now. I'll keep the, the the torches producing for anyone that wants to come and use my torch farm. Um, but I hope you guys can understand there's really nothing I can do about that glitch occurring. Um, it's just the will of the force that that occurred. Uh, but yeah, I'm sorry guys that that happened. I really am. But I kind of saw it coming. There was at least a 75% chance of that glitch occurring. Um, going into this. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah. You guys know from uh, from um, me talking about this in the past. That I, I'm, I was aware that that was probably going to happen. Um, I think he even said it multiple times in this throughout the series. That yeah, when I go to fight the, the queen, there's a chance of that happening. Um, and again, I know there's a million people probably going to leave suggestions on how to fight the queen better or whatever, but you guys got to understand there's no way of getting around the fact that if that does occur, I lose my inventory. And yes, I can just create a mode it back in, but that's not, that's not fair. I know it's not fair that glitch happened, but it's also not fair for me just to give myself the stuff back, especially since I'm ending up the series anyway. If I was going for another 30 episodes, I would just make a few episodes trying to get the gear back, but I would never creative mode it back in just because of that specific glitch, just because I know that glitch occurs. And for all I know, it's not a glitch. Maybe that's intentional for the ore spawn creator to make the final boss have that wipe mechanic to delete your inventory. It'd be a, it'd be a meme, honestly, if that was the case. I wish I knew if that was the case or not, but sadly, he was he never confirmed nor denied that being a, a thing. You know, um, but... Regrettably, this is the semi-final episode of Warspun. There is one more going out on Friday where I will essentially tour around the world to show off all of the stuff that people created on the world that I can have waypoints to and talk about my journey on the series. But, yep, that's pretty much it. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and click that notification bell so you stay notified anytime I upload a video. And maybe subscribe as well if you are new to the channel. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.